Hello everyone, today I will show you a quick guide to transformations in Black Myth Wukong. Transformations are a really powerful abilities, allowing you to drastically change the flow of combat. Uh, they can be earned by killing certain bosses, the first of which uh, being the... Uh, I will bring up his journal entry, I'm sorry. He's a Yagwai chief, from what I remember. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. I think he, he's named uh, Guangxi. Uh, the one with a uh, fire staff. Uh, his transformation is uh, by killing him. He can be found in the uh, forest outskirts. Uh, in the first region of the game. And after that, as you can see, a new uh, skill tree will be unlocked upon uh, killing him. The transformation skill tree. Right here we have three basic skills that we can unlock. I presume that this one is unlocked upon level 15, or not. Uh, I cannot tell exactly because I earned this, uh, uh, this transformation after level 15. But as you can see, uh, each p p talent point uh, put into Moondrome uh, increases the damage of the next attack after a perfect dodge. It's a general great uh, modifier, that is a passive bus. Uh, evergreen makes each talent slightly that uh, makes it that each talent slightly reduces the might decay while transformed and uh, might fortification increases the might recovery speed what is might now you may be asking might is a resource you use while being transformed after transforming by using a corresponding button for me it is number four on my keyboard you transform into that boss and as you can see, attack and your stamina bar disappears. Each boss also ha has unique moves. This one has the really strong dash attack that is performed while, uh, uh, while using a heavy attack as him. And while also having a focus barred field. Uh, as I said, those transformations are really powerful game changers. They can allow you to basically skip a, bo uh, a boss's uh, entire uh, life bar, a face, entirely. Uh, as you as you could see, uh, I under my health bar there was a different meter. It was a might meter, and it perfor it is uh, basically basically a timer and a stamina bar in one. If you use your abilities while transformed, this ability, this might bar will deplete faster. And, well, basically that's it. You can sw swap and change your transformations at the nearest shrine by simply going to set spells and dis uh, changing those. And, well, thank you for watching. And please remember to comment, like and subscribe.